Hi guys, we're fishing Landegved Reservoir today and we're fishing for the pike. So this is a venue I've been kind of keeping secret for the last four seasons. Uh, we've done quite well out here, we've, just, we've had some really big pike, but there's not many of them in here. It is really hard. I consider Landegved Reservoir to be the mecca of pike fishing in the UK. Obviously you've got Chew, which probably does contain bigger fish now along with places like Blagden. Um, but this place has produced two UK records. So you've got Gareth Edwards' fish in 1990, 45 pounds, six ounces. And then also you've got Roy Lewis's record of 46.13 in 92. So Roy Lewis's fish is still the UK record to this day. Now this place is an incredible venue. When it opened in 1988, uh, people had never seen pike fishing like this. Six something. Sorted out how much force. Well, that's including. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy just pick and pull it from? That's fabulous. Right. Right into the camera. And again. Right, can I squeeze in just to watch you and get up? Well, if we don't get one good shot out of this, we want murder in between us, don't we? Getting used to it now, he's looking at the camera now. Do you like the next one? Oh, do I send you a video? Do you like the next one? I'll send you a video. Huh? Settled there quite nicely, isn't he? Beautiful heart fish, isn't it? Fabulous. There she goes, mate. And it's got a bit, a bit more life in there now. You didn't even kiss it, yeah. So I wanted to fish land Dagved for the pike since uh, about 13 years old. Started pike fishing when I was, you know, in my teens, probably, yeah, 13, 96, 97, uh, fishing local venues. And we used to look at the pictures of the pike from land Dagved and just be totally amazed. Like, always wanted to fish it. But unfortunately, when you're that age, there's just no way really you're gonna be able to afford to come up here and fish on the boat and, and have all the you know, experience and tackle and the, knowledge that you need to be able to take on a water like this and uh, it kind of got forgotten really a lot of people forgot about land for there's a pike fishery um, until it reopened in 2015 so unfortunately in 2015 i missed the boat quite literally i didn't get a ticket um, and i couldn't get on so some of the guys that did fish it did very well um, they had some big fish up to around i think 27 28 uh, but unfortunately the fish were displaying some signs of red sore disease it didn't look too healthy, the stock wasn't what it was, and they weren't quite as big as they were before either, you know, they, their 40s weren't there. So 
So before I go into talking about what we've achieved in the last four seasons, I just want to go into why we're publicizing the venue. I mean, it's not normally the done thing with pike venues to, to talk about where you're fishing, acknowledge that. Uh, but this is a trout reservoir. Um, trout reservoirs do rely on anglers' income. So, you know, if there's no income, there's no trout. If there's no trout, then unfortunately the, there's no big pike. Um, the fishing is limited. So you've got October um, and March. Uh, so there's not many fishing days that you can exploit it throughout the season. Um, so it's sustainable. Um, so I'm quite happy to talk about it and uh, let people know how we've got on. We didn't have a very good day on the first day that we fished it. Um, I think we had one jack to the boat. Um, so we had a real sort of kick in the teeth. It was uh, difficult after being so excited, but uh, that's fishing and, and it is this venue it is incredibly difficult. Some of the biggest names of ang in angling have come on here and they've struggled um, and they've written you know, about how difficult it can be. Um, so we decided to keep on going and just keep trying basically. So the, uh, either the second or third time I came up, um, we fished all day again. We weren't really catching anything, nothing happening. But right to the end of the day, I saw a really big pike. It's probably five, ten yards away from the boat. The length on it is the first thing that struck me. I, I just couldn't believe it. I thought it was two fish or, or a catfish. It was so long. Um, I'd never seen anything like it in my life. Um, and it, I knew it had to be a 30 pound plus fish. Um, so from that moment on, we were hooked. We knew we were going to be coming back here. We booked the first day off that we could to go fishing and uh, came back up for another go. Um, so on the next session, um, again, we, we struggled initially. Um, I think some point in the afternoon then, uh, my boat partner, Reese, his rod doubled over um, and stayed solid. We thought it was a snag. And then it started moving, <laughs> taking line stay deep as the pike do on here when they're usually quite big. Um, it plodded round under the boat and Reese's face was just a picture. He was in total shock and he didn't know what to do. It was his first fish on a, on a lure. He'd never lure fish before. Um, and yeah, the fish came to the surface. The, the look of shock turned into a look of fear from Reese. Um, managed to bring the 29 pounder in. Um, wow, what a fish that was. As you can see from the photos, but yeah, that, that fish really sort of changed our, our mindsets and we knew we were gonna keep coming up and keep trying because there must be another one in here. So yeah, we had several more sessions then after that, um, trying for another fish. Unfortunately, we, we weren't really getting anywhere. We had a couple of jacks and um, we were starting to wonder really if we caught the biggest fish out of there, you know, was that the fish that we saw? And it was Reese's 29 pound fish, the, the fish that, we, that we'd seen, that I'd seen roll, that, the long fish that, that brought us back up here. And um, yeah, I'd started doing some more jerk baiting. I'd read about Dave Kelbrick and some of the fishing that he'd done on here and some of the techniques he'd been using. And I'd never done a lot of jerk baiting, but um, started falling in love with the technique really. And uh, still just caught a couple of jacks and we stumbled across a spot and it all kicked off. I think it was a case of right conditions, right time. Um, I had two, three jacks in a row and a double. And then as I was retrieving the jerk bait on I think the fourth or fifth cast, um, I had my fourth or fifth fish at that session. Uh, 19 pound fish tracking the lure across the surface almost. I was retrieving so quickly, the fish just came in and absolutely hammered the jerk bait. And um, yeah, 
couple of tail walks and uh, the works really. We managed to get it in the net and uh, just as it got in the net, the lure flew out of his mouth and over my shoulder. So it was a bit of a relief when uh, that fish went in the net and it was my first good fish from Landaugfed at uh, 19 pounds. A lovely fish, quite lean, look quite young and um, it's good signs really that we could carry on and try and get some more fish out here. Yep, yep. I saw him take it as well. I saw him take it as well. And yeah, that's my biggest fish to date, 29 pounds, two ounces. Um, what a fish that was. So yeah, I was made up with that fish and um, we, were, we were being pushed into the bank um, by the wind. Uh, we were probably 10 yards away from the bank. So I rang the rangers. I said, look, is it okay if we um, unhook this pike on the bank and we get it back and, and rest it on the bank? And they said, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, weighed the fish, got the photos. And as you can see from the photos, I mean, I, amazing fish like incredible so we started another season on land Degved, beginning of october and again the first session we were feeling hopeful this time the conditions looked good very good in fact with a real nice wind on and we knew we were in with a good chance of a fish I'll actually get on a fish now. Reese. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say? Don't know where. Nice one. Yeah. It's a double, I think. jerk as well. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Ooh. Ooh. This is insane, isn't it? Isn't it? There she is. Oh! That's incredible. Yeah, boy! What's that, about 20? Yeah, just lift. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out to be a 25 9. Uh, nice looking fish, a couple of marks on it, but um, yeah, fairly healthy looking. And uh, another incredible fish from Land Um uh, so I would have been happy with that for the day, uh, but the day turned out to be much more eventful than just one fish. Light, 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 light. Get the net, get the net. Get the line, give him line. Don't worry about the net. I had last year I think. So yeah we weighed that fish in at 32 pounds 8 ounces and Reese was just made up. He actually said he was going to catch that fish that day. Um, he said to me in the car on the way he said I'm going to catch it today. I said yeah you're mad. He said no I'm going to catch it today and he did. So fair play to him. 
Um, I wasn't even disappointed that I didn't catch it. I was made up. I mean, when you're on a boat, you fish as a partnership, and me and Re Reese have fished as partners, you know. Um, every fish either one of us catches is, is, you know, it's a reward whether you catch it or your boat partner catches it, and that's the way it should be. You know, you need teamwork on the boat. Um, you need to fish together in unison. Um, yeah, you can't be disappointed by someone else's capture. Um, but yeah, what a fish that was. So again, we thought that was it for the day. We were perfectly happy. You know, we've had a 32.8, we've had a 25.9. You know, what more can you ask for from a day's fishing? Yeah, boy. It's a good double anyway. I think it might be another 20. A 20? Possibly. It's not far off. Yeah, it's a 20. It's Is a it? 20, yeah. Gotta be. Look at it. Worry about your jacket. She alright? She's actually she's kicking alright, isn't she? Yeah. She's gone. She's gone. Another 20. So this day is turning into a real red letter day now. Um, I'm starting to feel a bit jealous now because Reese has had two fish. He's had a 30 and a 20, and I've just had a 20, so I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, let's have another go. So I'm casting and casting and casting, and I'm, I'm fishing jerk baits. I'm persisting with the jerk bait, even though Reese is catching on swim baits. And um, I get a fish, follow my lure, all the way to the boat, as you can see from the footage. Um, it's, it's got my jerk bait in its mouth, and there's nowhere I can go. I, I can't retrieve that jerk bait anymore. There's, there's nothing I can do. I can't figure a bait it because it's a jerk bait. It doesn't work like that. Um, and there's just nothing I can do. I'm frustrated at this point. I can't. I, yeah, there's nothing else I can do. The fish swims off. And I think that's my chance done. Yeah. See if we can tempt something else out that we've not seen. Oh, I just had a hit there. Possibly. Oh yeah, this is the you know. Yeah. Oh my oh. days, that's a thirty, you know. Yeah, I think it is, mate. Oh my god! Boom! Yes. Um, you know, I I, I was certain this fish was going to be a thirty. It felt like fate, you know. The day was was done and. Yeah, I was sure this was going to be the fish. Um, managed to get it in the net after a, quite a tussle with the fish. And yeah, we again, we took it to the bank because it was we were probably 15, 20 yards from the bank when I netted it. That's a bit more mass. Yeah, I know. It's about 35, I think, guys. Well. How long has it gone now? Huh? No, I can't be right. 28. So yeah, this fish then, we weighed in at uh, 28 pounds, seven ounce. I mean, this day is just something else, um, you know, uh, wow. You know, you can't get much better than that. 
And, um, you know, we, we finished and we, I think we had three hours left of the day and we just said, right, that's it, let's go home. Um, we're done. So yeah, we came back up, I think it was six days later, and decided to have another go. I mean, we'd done really well, um, so anything else after this was a bonus. So yeah, we started out and the weather wasn't great. It was flat calm, poor conditions for pike fishing, quite sunny. But we saw a few fish, um, we saw a couple of nice fish actually, and they weren't the same fish that we'd seen previously. So I had a fish follow my lure a couple of times and just lethargic, it didn't want to take it, it wasn't really interested. You can see it sat on the bottom in clear water. It literally sat on the bottom in 10 foot of water and I'm twitching a jerk bait past his face and it just didn't want to know. We carried on fishing, um, to no avail really, and then we went and had some lunch. So um, during lunch we decided to throw out some dead bait, and Reese had a 24 pounder on a dead bait, which is great because it's notorious that this water isn't a dead bait water, it's mainly lures, uh, so it was good to get one on a, on a dead bait. And a 24 pounder to boot, really nice fish, um, again a young, sort of healthy looking fish, uh, no real marks on it and uh, kicked off and went back strong. Um, so yeah, a bit more confidence after we'd had the 24, went back out. Ooh, I just had one go for a reese. Yeah. 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 Oh. That was painful. 20, wasn't it? Uh, we carried on fishing. Reese had a bit of action on um, uh, some jerk baits, I think. And, um, and then we both started fishing swim baits for some reason. I can't remember why. Maybe we'd had a couple of follows on them. I don't think it's that big even, is it? it? Looks like a skinny little double. Like. Saying that, it's giving me a good run. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's not bad fish, mate. Mate, that's a nice fish, huh? Get in there, please. Oh, it's not far off 20, is it? Go on. Yes. Yeah, it could be a scraper, couldn't it? Like maybe 19, 17, 17 to 19. Oh, dude, I made up my day that way. Uh, but yeah, 21 pounds was a good fish to end the day on uh, and a good fish to end the season. Um, so that was the last fish that we caught then that season. And that brings us up to date. Um, that's the fishing we've had so far on land egg fed. It's not been easy. You know, you'll see the photos and the, the footage and um, you may think, oh, wow, that looks brilliant. Um, you know, it looks easy when you summarize it into a short uh, amount of footage, but it's a lot of fishing. I mean, that's four seasons worth of fishing for the fish that we've had. Um, so we really worked for it. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe we can uh, get a few more out uh, before, we, before we put this video out.